So this is indeed a growing problem in our area. Watercraft operators taking up space at public parks and some doing business illegally. Now the city of Sarasota cracking down to keep you safe. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba shows us how. You assume that these people even take care of their equipment. Do you want to be out in the middle of the Gulf somewhere and have your jet ski break down? Do you want to be the person that caused harm or injury or death to somebody else because you didn't know what you were doing? None of that. Nobody wants that. Water sports business owner Jason Ross says some of the illegal operators skirt the rules to get around insurance and permit requirements to operate, putting revenue over people. If they're not going to tell you how to do emergency procedures in case something does go wrong, if they're not going to tell you about local characteristics and how to respect other boaters, if they're not going to tell you particularly how to avoid contributing to the negative stigma that most jet skis have, then they are not somebody you should be renting your jet ski from. Many are also conducting transactions at parks and boat ramps, and that's against the law. Now, the city of Sarasota is launching code enforcement patrols. A lot of them aren't aware that you can't do monetary transactions. So really, this truly is about educating everybody that comes through the boat ramp, not just potential violators, but everybody. Code compliance teams are starting with handing out flyers to boat ramp users, reminding them that swiping credit cards or exchanging money in public recreation parks is a city code violation. Dropping off and picking up, meeting your people is fine. It's when you take the transactions on this site that we're concerned about. All waivers and contracts and everything are all done digitally and over the internet. The only thing that we do here is meet the people tell them how to be safe, and put them in the water. Vehicles with boat trailers taking up multiple parking spaces here and especially at the nearby Van Wazel Hall lot will start seeing parking citations. Now those parking tickets can cost anything from $35 to $140 for repeat offenders. In Sarasota, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. Aduria, thank you. And the county is also looking into efforts to curb similar situations at parks. Next week, Sarasota County Commissioners are expected to name the five members of a new task force to look into solutions for charter boats and watercraft operators.